regarding the follow up after the phototherapy we can repeat the bilirubin 12 hourly till it falls to 20% below the treatment level we should discharge if stable and follow up in 36 to 48 hours obviously if the bilirubin was purely uh, the treatment was purely for uh, physiologic exaggerated jaundice and we don't have much risk factors the repeat blood test is optional if the uh, transcutaneous bilirubin under a patch is reducing well but this again this practice and you follow your unit guidelines the repeat testing for rebound rise is not necessary so we usually discharge the baby soon after we stop phototherapy uh, parents obviously prefer uh, home management repeat bilirubin 4 to 6 hours after starting phototherapy if level is close to exchange level so it's important to repeat the blood test in these cases outcome is good unless there are clinical features of encephalopathy in which case mri is indicated with close neurodevelopmental follow up the discovery of phototherapy was itself based on the effect of sunlight on jaundice and uh, even though we know that sunlight is not going to be anywhere near as effective as phototherapy there may be some benefit but if you do suggest or if the parents do want to show sunlight the factor it's very important to warn them that sunlight doesn't do much if the baby has a significant level of jaundice especially if it's a level that's approaching brain injury we should review the baby and consider phototherapy if it is at a significant level so sunlight is not an alternative to proper clinical monitoring and management uh, and it's also important to advise the parents that going out in the sun may dehydrate the baby uh, vitamin d needs direct sunlight exposure while for jaundice even light through the window uv filtration doesn't affect because it's light in the visible length that affects on the skin and baby needs to be open for a period of time you can't keep the baby open for a long time due to risk of hypothermia at home so all these factors have to be explained if at all the parents want to expose to sunlight so this is a well ingrained uh, community practice so rather than uh, bluntly discouraging its use we can explain the pros and cons say that it's not going to be effective but even if you do it do it in a safe way and that's not a substitute for need for monitoring and follow up